from curvaceous Beyonce Fly to the pumped up Schwarzenegger Beetle, having an animal named after you is surely one of the greatest honors a celebrity can have bestowed upon them. However, we're not quite sure how Donald Trump would feel about being compared to a poisonous caterpillar that bears an uncanny resemblance to his famous mop of hair. Donald Trump, the current president of the United States of America. The Republican has gone head to head with Democrat Hillary Clinton on a number of key issues, causing a whirlwind of controversy in the process. Trump's campaign had been one outrageous claim after another. He began by making a number of sweeping generalizations about Mexican-American immigrants, for example, and pledging to build a wall across the length of the border to prevent migration. Mexico is sending people that have lots of problems. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, he stated in 2015. Plus, he's on record as having uttered some terribly sexist remarks. To name just a few, he has said that no one would vote for his Republican candidate rival Carly Fiorina because of her face. He has insinuated that CNN presenter Megyn Kelly's direct line of questioning was because she was menstruating, and as a joke, he also claimed he would date his own daughter Ivanka. Trump has also come under attack over his tax dealings. In fact, documents obtained by the New York Times revealed that the billionaire businessman may not have paid any federal income taxes for the last 20 years. Trump defended himself by countering that he created thousands of jobs and would look into changing the complex tax laws that allows billionaires such loopholes if he was made president. Of course, Trump, who is 70 years old, has also attacked his presidential opponent, Hillary Clinton, who is 68. When quizzed as to what he meant when he said Clinton didn't look like a president, he claimed she didn't have the stamina to lead the country. With all this in mind, Trump has become quite a divisive figure in American politics. And so, in a bid to show off his softer side, the businessman decided to visit a school in Las Vegas. The visit was supposed to be an easy PR boosting opportunity, with Trump taking some friendly photographs with the adorable kids. The only problem was, all the kids wanted to talk about was his ridiculous hair. See? I told you his hair wasn't orange. One of the little voices called out as Trump entered the classroom. And there's no escaping the fact that Trump's fluorescent locks have garnered a somewhat legendary status in recent years. In fact, countless column lines have been dedicated to deciphering the origin, styling technique, and color of Trump's famous tresses. So unusual is Trump's mop of yellow hair that it was thought to be completely unique to him. Until now. Let us introduce you to the flannel moth caterpillar, otherwise known as the trump pillar Just like the Republican president, this bouffant of a bug sports a mop of bright yellow hair. The furry creature lurks in the Peruvian Amazon and was recently caught on camera by wildlife photographer Jeff Creamer. Speaking of the hair-raising encounter, Creamer recalled, I was putting on my boots and someone said, hey, check out this caterpillar hanging out. Sure enough, it was Donald Trump's hair hanging on a branch. And while to the untrained eye, this creepy crawly looks like a harmless ball of fluff, it's actually pretty poisonous. Each little tuft contains toxins that can give a human some trouble, including pain, vomiting, headaches, and breathing problems. Although it looks nice and soft and friendly and fuzzy and cuddly and all that stuff, it actually isn't, Creamer revealed. These caterpillars can be pretty dangerous, he added. I needed to be careful when taking the pictures because there was a little breeze and the stinging hair started coming off and floating around in the breeze. If one of them touched my skin or landed in my eye, it could have been a bad situation, he said. The hairs have little spines or little hooks on them that just go into your skin and irritate your skin and make you itch really bad, Creamer said. Those spines have hypodermic needles in them that can inject venom and it's extremely painful. Naturally, the hairs were designed to prevent predators from eating the caterpillars. When the orange crawlies eventually metamorphose into moths, they keep all their fur, making them extremely fuzzy flying machines. And while Trump is yet to comment on his hair's insect doppelganger, there's plenty of chatter about the caterpillar online and on social media. In one hilarious tweet, Scott Linnan pitted the pair against each other asking, who wore it better, the vitriolic Donald Trump or the venomous southern flannel moth caterpillar? 
rather venomous and capable of causing a fair amount of irritation. Yep, I'd say that's true for the Donald, another social media user joked. Given the only choice between the two, I'd rather pet the caterpillar, one more added. So what, if anything, can we learn from this striking resemblance between bug and billionaire? The next time you see something that looks like Donald Trump's hair, don't touch it, offers photographer Creamer. Wise words, indeed.